Here's another delectable example of AP Physics C. This question comprises several topics, and we're going to address it in several videos as well. So the first one, we are after velocity of our person right before the collision with the object, which is right here. So in other words, I know M1, which is the mass of the person. I know that the person was L, vertical distance of L, above the place where he ends up, or she. And pretend that there is no air, meaning conservation of energy. So velocity right before the person hits, the velocity of the person right before the collision is pretty easy. Conservation of energy, gravitational initial, will be equal to kinetic final, mg. L for H equals mv squared over 2. Mass cancels. Therefore, V right before the collision is the root of 2gh. 2gl for that matter. The second part is what is the velocity right after the collision? That is a little bit hefty. So in this case, we're going to talk about conservation of momentum, linear momentum for that matter. So the person's mass, which is m1, times our root of 2gl should be equal to the sum of masses because it's said that these two objects, the person and the object, collide together inelastically and they stick together. And we're after this here, v final. Agreeing? So it's the ratio of one mass to the sum of masses to the original v and then m1 m1 plus m2 times the root of 2g l one more question which will go along with these ones is the ratio of kinetic energies the ratio of kinetic energy of one person before the collision and the kinetic energy of the combination of person and that weight or mass 2 so kinetic energy before to kinetic energy after that's what they want to know so kinetic energy before is m1 then when i then when i square the root of 2gl it's just 2gl so 2gl and then divided by 2 right but then and when I divide the other one, I'm just going to cancel the twos, okay? So then my kinetic energy after is the sum of the two masses, and 1 plus m2 times the v final squared. What is our v final? It's this contraption right here squared. So again, the root squared will be just 2gl, and it will technically cancel. So m1 times 2gl. For now, I'm just going to keep it. It's not L, that's H. Sum of masses, M1 plus M2. 2GL again. So like I said, this is going to cancel. M1 squared. And then M1 plus M2 also squared. This gets away. One mass gets away. And we end up with M1 plus M2 divided by M1. That is the ratio. It's the ratio of the sum of masses to one mass. Looks daunting, but in the end, it's very, very simple.